Hi guys, my name is Jason Lanier and I'm here with Miss Devin back there. Say hi, Devin. Hello. We're going back to the basics, guys. And what does that mean? I'm gonna teach you very simply what Rembrandt lighting is. I love Rembrandt lighting. Rembrandt lighting is my favorite light of choice. Rembrandt lighting is from the painter Rembrandt. It's because a lot of the portraits that he did did in a manner where there was light on one side of the face and on the other, there'd be a patch, a triangle of light on this side with shadowing down here. The reason that's really beautiful is because you illuminate the face, you get lighting in both eyes, so you get catch lights in both eyes, but you also get the uh, benefit of shadow. And shadow, when it comes to lighting, minimizes a person's size. And so that's why Rembrandt lighting is loved by photographers all over the world, including yours truly. I'm gonna be using today the uh, Rotolite AOS 2 on um, Miss Devon. Um, I'm currently being illuminated by the Neo 3. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show you Rembrandt lighting with the AOS 2 and the Neo 3, and I hope you guys enjoy it. But you can do this with off-camera flash, any of the flashes that I've used over the years that you guys see me use, traditional strobes. You, a Rembrandt lighting is something that you should know how to do. I, I will also note that um, currently, uh, I am using the domes on both the Neo 3 and the AOS 2 because it helps to soften the light. So we're here at a really cool studio here in Huntington Beach. And uh, not that crazy, guys? Since I got my hip replaced, I literally am an inch and a half taller on my right leg. That is literally the difference. And it's kind of crazy for me to see that in right, camera. Guys, uh, I hope you guys enjoy this and uh, let's get to it. Uh, look straight at the camera for me, Miss Devon, with your chin straight forward. Thank you so much. Um, again, the, the, the Rembrandt lighting, you're going to put lighting on this side of your subject's face and you're looking for a triangle of, of that light patch to come over here. And what you want to do is close off any of the e excess light spill that's hitting beneath their nose. So these little patches of light we want to try to mitigate. So we're going to do that through positioning the light. I'm going to raise the light up and down. You guys are going to see that patch. See right there? That's our Rembrandt light. So look straight at the camera before you keep your chin still. Perfect, so you see that guys? That's what we're looking for, that patch of light. So when we're talking about Rembrandt lighting, this is exactly what it is. We've closed off the shadow. We now have shadows falling on this side of the face. We have a patch of light here. We have catch lights in both eyes and we have illumination on this side. So again, the shadowing helps to mitigate size on any of your subjects, which is very flattering. Goes to show what the, uh, the dome is doing there too. So you really want the light positioned at, the, at your subject's side. So when you're setting this up for yourself, this will be similar for anything. It's gonna be similar for flash and or constant lighting because no matter what, that light needs to come down and the center of where the light comes from, which is here, is gonna go down and really pass through that bridge of the nose. That's what you're looking for. And if your light doesn't have a bracket like this uh, or a yoke, what you're gonna to wanna to do is on a smaller light, get an umbrella bracket. And then you can manipulate the tilt and angle right here. Even without an umbrella, use the umbrella bracket to manipulate how far down everything tilts. And then you can control your lighting and make, really make some, some cool stuff. So also, it should be noted, the more you modify this light, guys, so if I use a bigger modifier on this, the softer these shadows will be. So instead of it being a dark shadow, it'll be a lighter shadow, which would be even more flattering and softer light. Well guys, I hope this has helped. Um, drop a comment down below, and let me know what you think. And I hope it helps all of you out there become a better creative photographer or whatever in the world you want to become. Whatever it is, become it, my friends. Thank you, Miss Devin. She did an amazing job, and thanks you guys at home for watching. So until next time, keep shooting, never give up on your dreams. Find out who that works for you, and remember, you only have one chance to get it right. And if you mess up, well, try again. I love you guys. Peace.